Yeah, and this is another situation. It's like, oh, I couldn't possibly need to drop down and find stuff. There we go. There we go. And it's all the uh, pumpkin pasties and stuff, so that's really useful for buying precious stuff at Fred George's shop. Okay, so obviously, I'm sure you noticed. Can you get that cauldron kick? Yes. Okay, uh, no! Darn it! The turn radius is not quite enough for me to get into that. Alright, okay, there we go. Turn radius. This is, this is just too much. Too much turning. Ah! Alright, oh uh, yeah, this is the sort of turning situation where I'll never hit the things unless I around. Okay. Well, I think I did that pretty efficiently. There we are. Now, if Hermione happened to get that dragon fire pickup, would she be able to do it? I mean, if the dragon can't breathe fire without getting some random magical pickup thing, then surely it gives any creature that gives it the ability to breathe fire. Makes sense to me. I'm on the prowl for secrets, that's for sure. I wonder what these pumpkin pasties are supposed to taste like. My guess would probably be like candy corn or something. Although maybe I just say candy corn because I recently have some. There's, there's some off to my left right now, about 20 feet away. If only I could reach it, then I could be eating candy corn and playing Harry Potter. Man, that, that would be a dream. But, uh, that would involve me having to take off my earbuds and my headset. And, uh, yeah. Oh, I, I may or may have not have mentioned, but the setup for this game involves me having earbuds for the uh, hearing the sound of the game um, and then uh, what do you call it oh hit my headset for uh, recording the voice out out of microphone because um, there's two different computers I'm working off of here uh, not as bad as my Spider man let's play um, in terms of the setup, because that involved three computers in the end, so it's just nothing in comparison. Oh right, it's okay. All right, I, I'm gonna make the uh, executive decision to speed up this secret a bit. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know about the attention span of all the people playing this, but for me personally, I feel like I may as well speed that part up. Because, you know, uh, I have to watch this stuff too, and I don't want to watch this rabbit have to eat 50 of those grass things. I mean, at some point or another, I'm not going to be able to play this game for a while. So, it might just be more efficient. Do I not want to go down here? I'm terrible. Well, can I get this cauldron cake? This is a place for Hermione, though. What am I doing? Is it even possible to get back up? I'm talking about efficiency, but now... Oh, shut up, phone. Stop making noise. Uh, uh I guess... Wait, how do I stop the spell? Okay. Yeah, so obviously I'm going to be... You do the skin. Whoopity doopity. All right, that that was all I need to do. Whoops, Daisy. Now we need to go over to the dragon. But yeah, like I was saying, I have to watch this myself. In the future. 
I mean, I don't know about you, but I watch my own Let's Plays occasionally. Uh, if I just want to see, like, parts of the game or something like that. It's very f efficient being able to have my own uh, Let's Play to just watch um, in case I want to see parts of these games again, you know. I mean, I know there's plenty of other Let's Plays, but are any of them as good as mine? Pfft, I think not. Yeah. Alright, uh, this is, this is gonna be a nightmare, isn't it? I have three of these fire things to do. For all this punching out platforms. Okay. Alright. I can do this. I can do this. Really, the only challenge is doing it without missing beans. Yeah. I don't know how much more of this challenge there is. I suppose you can roughly know by how many secrets are left. Yeah. Alright, wait, does that... Is that, is that, yeah, that's that's what I thought. And then you'd be like, oh, I have to go up there immediately. But no, actually, if you uh, do this stuff, fall down, you can come down here. Of course, there's going to be imps or whatever, right? I just know everything about this game. You the only guy left? Do you? Is there any benefit in even killing them? I could have just got the got the treasure and left. Wait, how does this, how does this crap work? What? Wait a minute, is that where it came from? I think it was. So the other way. Ah, of course. Oh yeah, darn! I should have noticed that. Known about that secret earlier, but oh well. Some jumping. Hope you're not scraping up your knees, Hermione. Oh, it's one of these things. Of course. Of course. Deposo! I guess I'll just have to know what Deposo! Deposo! Oh, that'll work, I guess. Alejandra! It's nice in that they tell you what's um there before you even get it. Deposo! So I knew exactly where to run over to. You have to uh, deal with one of these in the uh, second game, the Chamber of Secrets. And it's interesting to have to deal with it because in that game, you um, the challenges are timed. So if you want to get like a perfect score or whatever, you need to go to the fast line. So you have to really uh, know how to do that efficiently. It's abandonment. A Bundyman will expel a foul trail of slag that you will need to avoid. Oh, it's remember. You can cast Richter Simpra to stun a Bundyman. Then, if you're quick enough, you can jump on top of it to see if it will produce a reward. Ah, oh, it's repulsive! You're not very good looking yourself, Miss Granger. <laughs> yeah, I think you can get her for that? Maybe not. Yeah, for some reason these um bundulum things or whatever, I always remember them. Most most memorable opponents. I guess it's kind of cool that you get to like jump on them. Just like Mario. <laughs> yeah, whatever. You can take the abuse, Hermione. You're used to it. I, although, I don't know how abusive her parents are, actually. I think you only see her parents, like, one time in the movies, like, when she, uh, deletes their memory or something. By the way, spoilers! Who <laughs> needs spoilers for Harry Potter? It is a funny thing, though, with spoilers. Because you have people that are like, oh, it's been 20 years since this film came out. I'm not. I don't care about uh, spoiling it or whatever. 
but like, you know, just because the film's 20 years old doesn't mean you haven't seen it. Oh, there we go. Like, let's say, let's say you're talking about Jurassic Park or whatever that came out in like 95 or something along that line. And let's say you're like, I don't know, born after that. You, um, at some point in your life, you need to have seen that movie. But, like, there's many other movies like it. There's hundreds of movies that you sh should have seen by this point, supposedly. So, really, it's just a matter of, um... Basically, I don't know, long way of saying there's, um... Always gonna be someone who hasn't seen these movies, so... The, uh... No matter how old it is, the idea of spoilers, uh... Expiring is... Not entirely... Uh... Realistic. Or true. Whatever. Although sometimes, you know, so if something's like online, uh, you just can't help but um, have it spoiled because everyone's talking about it. So you better keep up to date on whatever show it is. I mean, they really like using these imp guys. It's just sickening. Oh, I didn't even hit any of them. It'd be great if, like, I got all six of them at the same time. That'd be, like, legendary. Wonder for, like, speedrunners of this game if, like, they know the exact, uh, sort of patterns or whatever that the imps walk around in so that they can maximize how many imps they kill each time. <laughs> 